Hello again, gamblers, cardists, and magicians. It's time for another playing card deck unboxing and review video. Today we've got cards from Vanda Playing Cards and David Goldclang. This is going to be the Mars deck from their Planet series of cards in the Vanda Artist series. This is going to be the fourth deck of eight decks in this series. This was a Kickstarter campaign and it reached its goal within a matter of hours. This is a very popular series of cards. And uh, so without any further delay, let's get into this box and take a look at these awesome cards. Okay, right here inside, we've got some card here. This is a thank you card. We appreciate your business and would like to extend you a special offer, 20% off. Yay, thanks Vanda Playing Cards. All right, this is the Mars deck from Vanda Playing Cards. This is the fourth deck of eight in this series. Uh, they are covering all the planets in our solar system. And Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. They started from closest to the sun and they're working their way out. These cards were designed by Sergian Vidakovic and they are printed by USPCC. And this tuck box is by Clove Street Press. So let's open this up and take a closer look at this deck of cards. Okay, we've got a nice black stock with a red holographic foil with some white foil as well. Uh, this tuck is made by Clove Street Press and um, it has got some embossing on it along with that foil and it just is absolutely a gorgeous tuck box. Very, very nice. On the front of the box it says fourth deck of an original series, The Planets, with a little flying saucer there. This is the Mars deck and there's the planet Mars there on the front. This is the Stellar Playing Cards deck of cards and they are produced by Vanda Playing Cards and their Vanda logo down at the bottom. Uh, we've got some nice scroll work around the edges. Uh, there is embossing here. We can, we can see that close up. Emboss work. Uh, all the text is embossed and on the edges as well. Nice holographic foil. It looks really cool in the light. On the side, it says Vanda Artist Series with their website, vandacards.com. On the other side, we've got a continuation of an image that they've put on each one of the tuck cases. Uh, when you stack each one of the decks next to each other, starting with the first and ending with the last, uh, there is an image of a planet that goes across, and you can see that in this uh, image up here in the corner. Each tuck box will have part of that image. They also have the uh, symbol for Mars, which is the male symbol for men, and a star field up there. On the bottom of the box, we've got some ad copy for the artist, Sergan Vidakovic. Uh, he is the artist for this uh, series of cards, and he's from Serbia, and he's done a very, very, very good job with these cards. I really like them. On the top of the deck, it says The Planets. It is also embossed. And on the back of the box, we've got the representation of the backs of the cards, complete with a lot of scroll work, some star fields, the planet Mars, a couple of flying saucers, the Mars Greek symbol, which is also the symbol of men or males here on Earth, and a lot of scroll work. There's a lot of embossing here. We can see some of that embossing in the reflection. Let's open this up and take a look at the cards inside. On the inside flap, it says the planets with a little flying saucer. And on the inside of the tuck case, we've got white foil stars that are going to continue on on the inside and on the inside small flaps, more flying saucers. Let's take these cards out, take a look at the inside of the box. The inside of the tuck box has white foil on the inside. There is a starscape in there along with the planet Mars. Makes it for a very elegant, awesome tuck box. All right, out of the box we've got an ad card for the artist, Sergian Vidakovic. We also have a card which, uh, when joined with other cards from the decks, creates a solar system. 
This will be the Mars deck of cards. So uh, as you can see in this image up here, uh, you put all eight of these cards together and it will create the solar system. This is the Ace of Spades for the Mars deck of cards. The planets, Mars, stellar playing cards. Take a good close look at this. There we see the Mars symbol there in the ace, in the spade, very nice. The pips in this deck are the same designs as the other decks in the series. Uh, they have original placements and they also have um, stars in each one of the pips. The indices in the corners are the same nice, clean, bold designs. Very nice looking, very nice colors and everything. The court cards in this deck are all male courts. Um, just like Venus was all women, Mars is all men. As you recall, the uh, symbol on the tuck box is the male symbol right there, is the symbol for Mars. And Mars was the god of war. So not only do we have all male courts, but all of the court cards are men ready for battle. Ace of Diamonds. Again, the pips with the stars in them, the same as the other decks of cards in this series. Very nice, rich red in there. There's the Jack of Diamonds. Looks ready for battle. Take a good close look at him. Queen of Diamonds is a guy. These are all male court cards. And they are all ready for battle because God, the God of War was Mars. Jack of Clubs. I think the Jacks in this deck are the coolest looking. The Clubs, again with stars in the pips. Ace of Clubs. Nice large design instead of keeping it with the same size as the others. And I like it when uh, designers uh, make a large ace. Very nice. Suicide King of Hearts. His sword drawn, ready to strike. Again, Mars was the god of war, and we have all male court cards in this deck. Very nice. Here we are with the hearts. All the way down here to the ace of hearts. And at the end, we have the Joker. Uh, Joker here on the rocket. Looks like he's resting from battle with a cape on. And the other Joker is of a sword. Let's take a look at the backs. The back design features a lot of scroll work with some star fields, a couple of flying saucers there, the planet Mars, and the Greek symbol for Mars, or male. If you recall, the Venus deck used the uh, female symbol up here as well. All right, let's take a look at these in a fan. These fan out really nicely. You do a real nice fan with these, and you will get a really good pattern on it. Uh, the back design doesn't have a very thick border, so you'll get a good uh, pattern there do a nice fan, which I try to do, but it's a little tough one. Let's fan out the faces. Very nice. The indices are a really nice uh, size, and they're not too far away from the um, edges of the cards, so they do uh, show up some, and it makes for a really nice fan. Okay, let's see how these spring right out of the box. Very nice. I like it. Of course, this is a USPCC deck, so we should not expect anything less than the best in action and quality right out of the box. The edges are nice as well. Very minimal smoothing or polishing needs to be done on them. They're nice and smooth. The cards themselves are not too thick, not too thin. They are uh, good snappy quality and uh, they just have a good feel about them. They are, like I said, are printed by USPCC from their bicycle stock, and they are embossed. Let's see how these cards fare. There we 
go. Very nice. USPCC prints really nice decks of cards. All right, so there you have it, folks. That is the Mars deck of cards from Vanda Playing Cards and David Goldklang. This is deck number four of eight decks of cards in their series. You can get this deck of cards at vandacards.com or your favorite online playing card retailer. That's it for now, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you at the next review. Bye-bye.